Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Anna. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, family. Let's start sharing the live broadcast. Let's make sure the live broadcast is going forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And glorious good morning. Hallelujah. Make sure you are greeting somebody right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makura Shata. Lika soto kodia ba 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 shiala la la ba sata rasoto kodia ba sanda. Let's tap on the screen, guys. Let's share the live broadcast as you are coming in. We are typing the destroying the hand of exchange. Hallelujah. We are destroying the hand of exchange. I'm going to teach a little bit on the hand of exchange, what it is against the teaching that we have had in the um the week um and when we were talking about the hand of the lord we saw how the hand of the lord was good on the one side and now we want to see what the hand of the lord will do for us on the other side what are the cautions or what are the warnings what type of environment in terms of evil manipulations that can come in when you are dealing with the hand of the lord hallelujah good morning everybody i believe some of you are coming in from the broadcast we've just had hallelujah welcome to everybody on facebook and on youtube i ask that you also do similarly like and share the live broadcast and make sure that we are populating heaven and we are depopulating hell amen let me just get an indication everybody on youtube can hear me well everybody on facebook can hear me hallelujah let us just get going hallelujah i want to get going in this next hour hallelujah we had a glorious midnight session hallelujah how many of you were there how many of you were in the midnight session the spiritual warfare session we had our very first midnight good morning mom kathy how are are you doing good morning Gideon Ghana from Ghana hallelujah it's good to have you in the house hallelujah I'm looking forward to seeing all the people that were in the midnight session we literally just rested for an hour and we said we are going ahead so we are about to charge forth amen somebody let us tap on the screen guys let's make sure we are populating this broadcast with a lot of people a lot of souls are going to be one in Jesus mighty name are we good to go somebody type in the comment section destroying the hand of exchange exchange, destroying the hand of exchange. There is a hand of exchange that we need to deal with this morning. Hallelujah. We need to destroy the hand of exchange and we need to see the response from God. What is he saying about that? Hallelujah. Destroying the hand of exchange. I'm waiting to see you guys tap in that comment section, type it in there in that comment section. Let's make sure that you can hear me destroying the hand of exchange, destroying the hand of exchange. God bless you, ma'am Anna. God God bless you, Mam Bugela. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Let's come. Let's go, 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 go. Mara official. Let's tap on the screen. Share the live with at least 10 people that are on your contact session. Everybody that you can see is live on TikTok that you believe will benefit from this word. Hallelujah. The hand of exchange. Destroying the hand of exchange. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Power of posit positivity with TKJ. Talk to me there on Mara official. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 29 verse 22 to 26 is where I start my scripture form this morning. Genesis chapter 29 verses 22 to 26. The Bible says that, and Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. Hallelujah. Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. Hallelujah. Now it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob, and he went into her. Somebody shout abomination. Abomination. It came to pass in the evening that he took his daughter, Leah, 
He brought her to Jacob and he went into her. And Laban gave his maid Zilpah to his daughter Leah as a maid. So it came to pass in the morning that behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, what is this that you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I served you? You promised to give me Rachel, but you duped me. You misled me. He says, what is this you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I toiled? I worked for something particular, but you robbed me. You exchanged. You did not give me what I expected. Talk to me. I'm talking to somebody's life right now whose life has been exchanged. The hand of exchange has come and it didn't deal you the deal that you wanted. It didn't give you what you wanted. It didn't give you what your expectation. Your expectation was cut short because you did not realize you were being duped. You did not realize that you were being lied to. Hallelujah. Was it not for Rachel that I served you? Why then have you deceived me? Oh, Rabba Shekete Kidia. I want you to type in that comment section. Why have you deceived me? Why have you deceived me? And Laban said, it must not be done so in our country to give the younger daughter before the firstborn. Oh, Jesus, my God. Type it again, destroying the hand of exchange. Not only is it a hand of exchange, but it's an evil exchange that has just happened. We need to destroy the hand of evil exchange before it destroys us. You need to make sure that you destroy those who are trying to deceive you before they deceive you. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me in the comment section so that I can preach back to you. Make a demand on the anointing so that the Holy Spirit can take out what it wants to say for you. We are destroying the hand of evil exchange this morning. Oh, Jesus, the above scripture proves to us that the enemy can exchange something that is good in your life in a twinkling of an eye. You need to be alert. You need to be, you need to be alert and, and, and discern that you don't get the wrong thing in a moment of excitement, thinking that you've got the right thing. The enemy can do that in a twinkling of an eye. The hand of, ex of exchange can operate in a physical realm and it can operate in a, in, a, in a spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Welcome, Caroline. Welcome, Alisa. Spiritually, something good can be exchanged in your life through the dreams, for example. That is why some people have weird dreams. Some people eat in dreams because there's an evil exchange happening. The hand of exchange, which is the evil hand of exchange, is doing something opposite to what you expect. If they can't reach you physically, they try you to reach you spiritually. They try because everything that you see manifest in the physical has already happened in the spiritual. So they attack you in the spiritual dimension, knowing that you will not, you will manifest in the physical what they did. So witchcraft is performed in a spiritual realm, in an invisible realm. Oh, Jesus. Physically, sometimes people's good treasures can be exchanged and polluted through darkness, through evil manipulations. Oh, somebody type in the comment section for somebody who's just joining to know that we are talking about destroying the hand of evil exchange. We are going to destroy the evil of the, the hand of evil exchange this morning. John 10, 10 says the thief comes uh, uh, not... Uh, the, the thief come not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So when Satan comes into your life, he comes to kill and to steal and to destroy. Hallelujah. And God says, I come that they may have life. He comes to give you life and not only just any other life, but not any ordinary life, but life in abundance. That is a qualitative life. That is a life of quality a life where you are having results a life where you are progressing a life where you are moving from one dimension to the next. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There are many times that the answer to our prayers has been released, but because of ignorance, because of carelessness, 
We have been stopped and we need to make up in our spirit this morning that we will not be stopped by the evil hand of exchange. We have to make up in our mind that we're going to fight the evil hand of exchange. Oh, karabashatakani. Some people, the challenge is that we talk too much. Mind you, I even am rebuking myself as well. The problem is that we talk too much and in the process, we lose our treasure. In the process, we tell our dreams prematurely. And Joseph's brothers want to put us in a pit because they cannot stick, they, they, they cannot stand the fact that we, we are going to manifest this glory. They cannot stand the fact that we are that good and more. Talk to me, somebody. Destroy that evil hand of exchange in Jesus' mighty name. So we need to be careful about our words. We need to be careful how we talk. We need to be careful about what we are saying. Hallelujah. So the agenda, child of God, the agenda of darkness is to exchange your destiny with a fake one. The agenda of darkness is to exchange your destiny with a fake one. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I have towards you, and the, the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, that they are, they are thoughts of peace and not of evil. So God does not wish you evil. God wishes you good. God wishes you to bring you to an expected end. God wants you to get to that point where you know that your expectation has not been cut off, that the thing you were expecting, the thing that was in your heart, not something similar, not something the opposite. Imagine you wake up and you find out that the woman that you were supposed to marry is not the woman you married, but the, you married the sister and you've already slept with her. My God, talk to me, somebody. My question to you this morning, are you manifesting your original destiny? Are you living your real life? Is this your life? Is this the life you expected? Is this the life you signed up for? Is this the life that you prayed for? Is this the life? Talk to me, somebody. Adam and Eve lost their destiny from the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. You need to destroy that hand of evil exchange, Tanya, in the name of Jesus Christ. If it's not your life, Bugara, you need to fight it, Miss M. You need to fight until that evil hand of exchange is destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fight the good fight of faith. We don't stop until we win. You stop that thing that tries to stop you in Jesus' mighty name. Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, when they lost their destiny, the exchange had taken place from the beginning. So we begin to understand that evil exchanges of destinies has happened also in the book of Genesis to Adam and Eve. But thank God for Jesus Christ, our second Adam, who came. When he came, he came to buy us back by paying with his life on the cross of Calvary. So Jesus came to die for me and you so that we are bought back. He came to buy back our original destiny. I, wanna, I want you to tell your neighbor, get back your original destiny. You need to be a designer's original this morning. You need to get back the original destiny. You need to get back the original life plan. You need to get back the original blueprints that God meant for you. Talk to me, somebody. He died on the cross of Calvary so that you redeem your originality. You need to be original self. Some of you, you have been made quiet by abuse and the abuse of people that are close to you, the abuse of people that love you, that so-called love you, but they are verbally abusive. They are physically abusive and they have suppressed you. You are now not a person that you are supposed to be. You are now quiet. You are scared. You are living in fear. You are now living with depression. Funky, thank you so much. God bless you. You are living in fear. You are limited. You don't want to assert yourself because you are living in fear. Because the hand of exchange has done all sorts of manipulations. Even in the workplace, you are being bulldozed. People are walking all over you. Thank you, Kire. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He paid for the cross for, for, for us with his life on the cross of Calvary. He bought us back so that those that trust him, We'll never walk in darkness again, but we will walk in the light. So I declare and I decree this morning, everybody who's had risen for this broadcast on this protocol breaking prayer altar, you have risen and you have come to your light. You have come to your light. You are coming out of darkness. You are coming back to your original intended purpose. You are coming back into your originality. You are a designer original. You are coming back to the original intention. 
No more time for fake blessings. Now we are releasing the original blessings. Your original blessings cannot be hid anymore. They cannot be replaced with a fake one anymore. Fake blessings can never work with your destiny. They can't match up to your original destiny. They have to shift out. Be careful. Not all opportunities that you see are blessings because some of the opportunities, they lure you because they want to exchange the, the hand. They want to exchange your destiny. Be careful of the handshakes. I don't know how many of you, you know that, especially in Africa, you must be careful when people touch your shoulders like this. There's, it, 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 there's a significance to it. Even when you are shaking somebody's hand, when somebody shakes their hand and, and, and turns it around like this, they're actually signifying that you are underneath, that you are below them, that they are be above you. That is why when you are learning even military etiquette, they teach you how to do a handshake so that you can interpret these things because power play, power dynamics are in the handshake. Oh, somebody say destroying the hand of evil uh, exchange. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, ra -ba 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 -ba. Spanish eyes. Yes, yes, the Lord is destroying the hand of evil exchange. If there was manipulation on the fruit of your womb, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that you are no longer barren in the name of Jesus Christ. You will have your baby in Jesus' mighty name. You will conceive. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Handshakes. Be careful of the handshakes that you give. Be careful of the hugs that you give. Not all hugs. You know, I don't know if you have ever met somebody. I, I know that this happens when I go into a place and I know that there's evil because I can feel the presence immediately. But there are some people that have hugged you and you will say, mm, something is smelling here. Something is smelling off. And right there, when you sense that thing, you need to cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ and say, I destroy every hand of evil exchange. I destroy the hug of evil exchange. I destroy every handshake of evil exchange. Some handshakes, some people will put muti and, and juju, whatever, uh, whatever they come, they come with because they want to, to, to transfer something to you. Thank God that when you wake up this morning, as you have woken up, you are covered by the blood of Jesus. That is why you need to put on your own armor. Every single morning when you go out so that anybody you touch, anybody who touches you, that thing will bounce off and will bounce back at them. It will go back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The only person we trust is Jesus. No, 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 no. We can't trust mankind. The only person we trust is Jesus. Father, I refuse. I refuse to let my benefits be exchanged. By the wicked ones in the name of Jesus Christ. That is your prayer right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, with everybody that is in the sound of my voice right now, I declare and I decree it right now. Those of fa on Facebook, those of you on, on YouTube, those of you on TikTok, I speak to your benefits right now. I decree that they will not be exchanged for wicked ones. The benefits that God has intended for you, those are the benefits that will manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every hand that wants to steal your birthright. I break every single hand. Be, be, begin to declare these declarations with me. Every single hand that is trying to steal your birthright, it is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We break it, oh God. We stand in agreement together to break that evil exchange, that evil exchange of destiny. We break it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Our birthright shall not be stolen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we reject every fake blessings from the enemy. We will not be duped. A fast one will not be pulled over our face. We reject it. Anything that looks like the real thing and is not the real thing, we reject it. We command our original blessings, O oh God. They are coming to locate us now. I command your original blessings to locate you now, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to receive your original blessings right now. Say then in the comment, comment section, I receive my, my original blessings. I refuse to fall in the hands of, the, of fake friends. I refuse to fall in the hands of the fake brethren. Even in the church, I refuse to fall in the, in the fake hands of, 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 of fake associations, fake business opportunities. I will not lose. My investments will not be in vain. I refuse. My investments will not fall in the hands of, of wicked people. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let every, every, every evil that Satan has covered in my life be exposed. Every form of evil that, that the, the devil is trying to disguise, let it be, be, be exposed. Let it come to light. Let God show you those evil exchanges of destinies. Let God show you those evil fake friends in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I prophetically declare, Every hand of exchange that is working in the lives of the ones that are listening to the sound of my voice right now, I declare that that hand is destroyed. Every bitterness that is coming out of from your life right now, every form of bitterness is coming out. It's coming out right now in Jesus' mighty name. The sweetness of the Lord, the sweetness of your destiny will manifest as from right now in Jesus' mighty name. It will manifest. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, Fortunel Online. Talk to me, Mara Official. Talk to me on Facebook. Declare it with me. Stand in agreement with me. Believe it with me. Believe it for yourself. Believe it for your children. Believe it for your family. Your glory will manifest. You need to understand that you war with your hands. You need to understand that you wage a warfare with your hands. Job 37 3 says he sealeth up the hand of every man that all men may know his work so all men will know your work through the works of your hands these are the things that God blesses oh Jesus let me put on the anointing oil so that you can understand distance is not a barrier I'm going to anoint your hands today Psalm 144 says, blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Do you understand that every battle that you are going to have in the spirit realm, Jesus has already taught your hands to war. And he gives you the comfort through the prophet Isaiah 41. He says, fear thou not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with my right hand and my righteousness. Hallelujah. I'm going to uphold you. I'm not going to let the devil accuse you. I'm not going to let the devil let you feel, 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 have low self-esteem. I'm not going to let the devil make you feel guilty. I'm going to let you have the assurance that you are in the righteousness of my standing, that you have been redeemed, that I don't hold you accountable for your past sins in the name of Jesus Christ, that you, I bought you by the blood and I blotted out every single sin in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the Bible says the hand of the Lord was with the apostles in Acts chapter 11 and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. When you know that the Lord is with you, belief is not a struggle in the name of Jesus Christ. The righteous also shall hold on his way and he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. If your hands are clean, whatever they accused you of doing and you did not do. Your hands become stronger and stronger because the Lord will justify you. The Lord will fight for you. The, in, in Exodus chapter 17 verse 12, the Bible says, but Moses' hands became heavy. And sometimes I know I'm talking to those who are breadwinners. And you know that everybody's looking up to you. And you know that you don't have the finances to meet up with all their needs and all their wants. And you are feeling heavily laden. Exodus chapter 12, chapter 17, verse 12, rather, it, it, it is the one that will give you confidence the same way that Moses' hands needed to be lifted up. Hallelujah. The Bible says Moses' hands were heavy. They took a stone and put it under him. May that stone be also put under you. And he sat on it. May God give you rest. May God give you that pause, that moment, that breather that you are looking for. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Aaron and Hur, they stayed up his hands. They lifted up his hands. Right now, I'm lifting up your hands. I'm saying that no longer will you be tired. I'm there with you. I don't know if your neighbor will hold the other side and help me hold up your hand. Tell your neighbor, help me hold up my hands. Help me hold up my hands. Hold, hold me up. Hold me up. Lift me up. Lift me up. Type it in that comment section. It says, lift me up. Tag your neighbor and say, lift me up. If you are my brother, if you are my sister, if you are really genuine, if you really know what's good for me and you want what's good for me, lift up my hands. Lift up my hands. Lift up my hands. Jesus, thank you. Oh, Jesus. And the other was on the other side. May we learn to stand like that for each other as Christians, as brothers and sisters. 
that we stand in the gap for each other and we stand in the gap in the physical realm as well. When you hear of that job opportunity, lift up the hands of Nesli, lift up the hands of Kathy and say, I know Kathy needs that job. I know somebody who's suitable for that job. I know Buntle, I can recommend Buntle without a doubt. I don't have to know much about Buntle, but I know that he, she's covered by the blood of Jesus. I know that she's redeemed by the blood of Jesus. I know that Nana is redeemed by the blood of Jesus. I know that Nana needs to be lifted up. And I need to, I need to see Christians who are saying, I'm ready to be lifted up. If you are that person and say, say, that's me. I'm ready to lift up my hands, the hands of my neighbor. I'm ready because I know somebody's going to lift up my hand when I feel like not continuing. When I feel like not doing again, somebody's going to lift up my hand. When I, when I don't have food, somebody's going to lift up my hand. Glory to Jesus. All glory to the living God. Hallelujah. And as they are lifting up your hand, is that you? Is that you? As they are lifting up that, that hand, both those hands, we are lifting up those hands right now. They are lifted up. They are becoming steady. You are standing, you are, you are solid. You are sitting on a rock. You are standing on the rock. You are steady. You are not shaking. The ground is not shaking anymore. Provision is there. Provision is there. We are standing with you. You're going to make it. We are cheering you on. You need to understand, child of God, that every hand has its own destiny. Hands in the spirit realm, they represent instruments of greatness. These hands are instruments of greatness. I can create with these hands. These hands represent my mind because I will manifest through my hands. These hands can be used to fight. Hallelujah. Our hands can be used to glorify the name of God. That is why he says, lift up your hands. Did you know that lifting up your hands is a prayer to God? When you lift up your hands, it's a prayer to God. I see those hand emojis. It's a, it's a prayer to God. And you lift up that, those hands. That in itself is a prayer. So you now begin to understand that if you are in a church environment and the worship leader says to you, lift up those hands, let's worship God. And you ignore that instruction. You might have ignored the release of your destiny testimony. You have just really, you, you have ignored and your breakthrough, your miracle could have been in that moment. And you are waiting for the preacher to still come along. You are waiting for, um, what's the word? You are waiting for, hallelujah. You are waiting for, 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 for somebody else to still come and say, this is now the time of prophecy. You are waiting for somebody to come and still say, this is time for manifestation of miracles. No, 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 no. Don't miss it. As I'm saying right now, some people are still waiting for me to st get to the bright one where I'm praying for them on a one on one on one. And I'm saying right now, the word has already gone forth. Did you know that when I started preaching and I started mentioning scriptures and I started mentioning the word that I was already prophesying, that was already the prophetic going forth. That is why some people can be in the same environment in the same church, but somebody else is hearing something else. They are, they are, their mind is somewhere else. They are not focused. And that's how people miss it. Lift up the hands. Let it be a sweet smelling sacrifice incense to God. Lift up those hands. I'm lifting up my hands right now. If something should go wrong with your hands, you know that it will affect your life and destiny. Your hands are just as important as your eyes, your ears, and, and your nose and your mouth. If you don't have your hands, you, you are basically, you, you are disabled. My God. So next time when you take for granted, you need to understand that you, these are greatness. These are the hands of greatness. I will not miss it. And therefore I will not allow my, my, my destiny to be exchanged. When your hands are against the glory of God, it will be difficult for God to work with you. Don't work against God's glory. People who are operating under the influence of cursed hands find it hard to succeed. I declare and I decree your hands shall not be cursed in Jesus' mighty name. If there is a, a curse on your hands right now, I turn it over in the name of Jesus Christ.
Your hands are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You need to understand that a cursed hand is a big load on the body. We cannot afford to have anyone's hands being cursed because the church of God cannot afford it. As far as any limitation that is placed in your hands, there is no way your hands can, can, can support your dreams. For as long as there's a limitation on your hands, your dreams are not supported. And right now, we stand in agreement with you right now. We say that no limitations, limitations are removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people don't know that they're operating under cursed hands. They don't understand that there's a yoke on their hands. Oh, until that person begins to experience profitless labor, nothing working in their lives, untold hardships, that's when you now pick up and hint and say, something is wrong. My destiny has been exchanged. This is not the, 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 the thing that I was expecting. This is not the way my hands are supposed to manifest. Whatever the person is touching, he just receives problems. Anywhere they go, it's just problem. One problem after the other following them. They are working hard with their hands, but instead they are, they are receiving the, the opposite. Share the live broadcast and make sure you are tapping on the screen. Please make sure you are following the broadcaster that you are, you are seeing my face on. Turn on that notification bell. Go to the profile picture and you tap on the profile and you follow the YouTube channel so that you can watch this replay. I need this message to sink in into your spirit, man. Limitations are being destroyed, Nazi. Hallelujah. This is your day of freedom. I want you to declare it. This is my day of freedom. This is the day every curse is being reversed. Every curse on your hands is being reversed. Repent from any known sin and unknown sin. Confess with your mouth. Take your prayer life seriously. Take your prayer life. Pray for your hands. I know maybe it's something that you've never heard. Pray for your hands. We're going to pray for these hands. And that is the only way you will touch good things. These hands will enable you to touch what God has put aside for you. This is your day of freedom. I don't know what you are expecting, but these hands are going to touch your document. These hands are going to touch your permit. These hands are going to touch your application. These hands are going to touch your passport application. These hands are going to touch your project. Your tender documents are going to touch these hands. Your hands, you're going to lay hands on your projects. You're going to lay hands on your application. You're going to lay hands on your marital certificate. You're going to lay hands on your children. These are the hands that you're going to use to bless. I need you to understand how important your hands are. Your hands are very important. Whatever you are expecting. Are you expecting good things from people? These are the hands that will touch it. Are you expecting to embark on a project? These are the hands that will touch it. Your hands will touch it. So we are going to go into serious prayer this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to cover them with the blood of Jesus. Every single document in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are plugging our hands into the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. We reject every form of pollution on these hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, we ask you to anoint our hands this morning. Anoint our hands. Anoint our legs for uncommon testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, declare it with me. Holy Spirit, anoint my hands. Holy Ghost, fire. Pursue every poison out of my hands. Whatever poison anybody has put, pursue it out. I'm commanding to come out. Father, by the power that breaks yokes, let every yoke upon my hands be broken. Every yoke upon your hands is broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow my hands. Holy Ghost, overshadow my hands in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow my hands in the name of Jesus. Every power that is attacking the stuff of your bread, catch fire. Receive the deliverance from the hands of any strong man. 
that has been holding you to ransom. I don't know who's that person who's been holding you to ransom, but receive your deliverance from that person this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that is binding your hands from prospering, I command it to loose you. That hand that has been holding you from prospering, it is going to loose you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to tell it, loose me and let me go. Bless you, Amazda. You are loosed. Loose me and let me go. I will not be held back. You will not be held back. Every wicked power that is emanating from your father's house, every wicked power emanating from your mother's house, Every wicked power that is sitting on your star, the star of your hands, I command it to be unseated by fire. I want you to declare it right now, unseated by fire. You are unseated by fire. You are not supposed to sit on that chair. I'm the one who's in charge. My hands are in charge. Every power that is binding your hands from prospering, I command it to loose you and let you go. It's loosing you and letting you go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I blow every bad luck associated with your hands right now. I blow it out of your hands in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not experience negative control over your hands. I break that negative control in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door that your hands will touch shall be opened Every door of the enemy, your hands will close in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject the covenant of failure over your hands in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lay your right hand on your head and say, from now on, life shall be easy for me. From now on, life shall be easy for me. Thank you, Jesus. You shall be desired. You will be wanted. You will be appreciated. You will be rewarded. Thank you, Jesus. No one is going to pluck your star out of your hand. No one is going to pluck that star out of your hand. I refuse it. I come against it. I bind that thing that is trying to pluck that star out of your hand. Bind it with me. My hands. I want you to look at your hands and say, my hands. Reject every manipulation. My hands. Reject every manipulation. My hands. Reject every manipulation. My hands reject every bewitchment. I will not be bewitched. You will not be bewitched. My hands reject every untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ, Robert, reject untimely death. Holy Ghost, crown my hand. Crown my life with divine glory. Crown my hands with divine glory. Crown my life with divine glory. Come on, somebody. Somebody needs to declare with me. Crown my hands with divine glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, be my glory. Be my glory. Be the lifter of my hand. Let the Lord lift your hand. If you cannot find a neighbor to lift your hand, let the Lord lift your hand. And now shall my hand be lifted up above my enemies round about me in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you understand that when the Lord lifts your hands around about your enemies, amongst your enemies, they cannot understand while you are still standing. They don't understand why God is still keeping you. They don't understand why you are rejoicing, why you are praising him. And you are in that situation because by all intents and purposes, you would have checked out. By all intents and purposes, you would have committed suicide. Somebody is being delivered from suicide right now. Your hands are being lifted right now. I'm lifting them up in the spirit. Amanda, I'm lifting them up in the spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Every spiritual bat, every spiritual lizard that has been introduced into your hands, it receives fire, Holy Ghost fire, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive, I, 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 I release your hand from every evil blood covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. I release your hand 
from every evil cloud. I command every evil cloud to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Any evil umbrella that has been covering your head, any evil umbrella that has been covering your hands, I command it to scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, connect my head into my divine destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Father, these ones shall have a testimony. Their hands are being lifted. The fire of God will consume every strange satanic material on your hand. Anything that they have put on your hands that is satanic, the Lord is saying that he's going to send his consuming fire to burn up that thing, that satanic manipulation. I don't know who shook your hand. And you know from that day, things have not been the same. Somebody shook your hand. And you know from that day, things started going bad for you. Money started disappearing. You can't even account how, what you're doing with your money that you're working for. But I reverse it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I reverse it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every evil hand that has been raised to suppress you. And I pull it down by the power of God of Elijah in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I pull it down. Every hand that is trying to suppress you, every hand that is trying to exchange your destiny. Right now, I pull it down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, speak. Blood of Jesus, speak into my hands. Blood of Jesus, speak into my life. Speak into my hands, speak into my heart, speak into my liver, speak into my kidney, speak into my bladder, speak into my womb. I want you to declare that prayer with me. Send the blood of Jesus where you need it right now the most. If you are sick in your body, I send the blood of Jesus to that spinal cord for you, Mom Kathy. Perfection, perfection for you. In the name of Jesus. Any power that is calling to cage your hands before you, before any evil mirror, they will die with that mirror in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be represented before any evil mirror in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to say with me, my glory, my hands arise. Listen to this declaration, my glory, my hands arise, my glory, my hands arise and shine, my glory, my hands arise and shine. Oh, talk to me, somebody. I want to see it. I want to see it because it's a smelling, it's an incense that needs to go up to heaven right now. My glory my hands arise, my glory, my hands arise and shine, seal it off with a shine in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare it. I say my hands, my glory, my hands, my glory shall arise and shine. They are rising and shine. My hands, my glory shall arise and shine. My hands, my glory, my hands, my destiny shall arise and shine. My hands, my health shall arise and shine. My hands, my finances shall arise and shine. To the glory of the living God. My hands. Oh, Jesus. God is changing things in the spirit right now. So much is happening. Do you understand by that declaration what he's doing? He's handing you what you have been waiting for. That cancels every single thing. God bless you, Shanley. It cancels everything, every time delay, everything. If anything that you would just say, my hands, my glory, arise and shine. Whenever you are feeling discouraged, whenever he, the enemy comes in like a mighty flood, the Lord is lifting up a standard. My hands, my glory, arise and shine. When it seems like the committees are gathering in your head, they are gathering and you don't know why they are gathering because you did not call the meeting. They are telling you that this thing you are believing and waiting on God for is not going to happen. You tell it, you respond and say, my hands, my glory, arise and shine. If anything, I, do, I might not know anything else. 
Devil, I can hear you. I see you. You want me to recognize you, but I'm not going to recognize you. Let me tell you what I'm going to recognize. I'm going to recognize that my hands, my glory is arising and it's shining. Your hands, your glory is arising and shining and it's telling me the holy spirit is saying you will not be ashamed you will not walk in reproach sub zero galabasodia your hands your glory mary kebi they are rising and they are shining they will see the works of your hands you will be announced your hands will market you your hands will open the doors for you. My father, my father, any power cursing these hands that are lifted up before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, any power that is threatening to curse our hands from doing good things, we command them to scatter by the name of Jesus Christ. We fire back every arrow of witchcraft in our hands. We fire it back in the name of Jesus my hands, my glory, arise and shine. Oh, Jesus, that is a prayer. That is a powerful prayer. If you pray anything else for the rest of today and you go around declaring my hands, my glory, arise and shine. As you say that prayer, we are rejecting every bewitchment, every form of witchcraft. The Lord says, I will remember you. I will be the lifter of your head in the name of Jesus. With this anointing in the name of Jesus Christ, as I anoint my hands, this is symbolic. I also stretch out my hand to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask that you use this anointing oil that is on my hand to break every wicked chain. Use this hand, my God. Those of you on Facebook, those of you on YouTube, I stretch out my hand to you right now. And as you lay, as you stretch out your hand in faith, and as you contact this hand, every wicked chain is broken. Every wicked chain is breaking by fire. Every wicked chain is breaking by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I use this oil in my hands and I say every spirit that is destroying good things in the hands of those that are listening to the sound of my voice right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command them to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could type that amen and let it resound well. I wish you could shout that amen well. I wish you could shout that amen louder in the name of Jesus Christ with this oil. My God, these hands that are stretched out towards my hand, they shall achieve success in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere the curse has gone, road is removed. You will complete that project. You will complete every single thing right now in the name of Jesus. Shout that amen well. Any wicked personality that has shook your hands with you in exchange for your destiny right now, as you shake my hand prophetically, spiritually over the airwaves right now, shake my hand as you shake my hand. We are shaking off every, every evil exchange, every evil hand of exchange, whatever evil that they try to manifest through that hand right now. I break it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are recovering your destiny, your original destiny. You are a design original in the name of Jesus Christ. You will use these hands to carry your baby in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You with that hand. Your wedding ring is coming on in the name of Jesus Christ. It's symbolic. Those of you who are believing for marital settlement, 
this will be the hands that will receive that ring in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your ring right now, not from any spiritual husband, from but from the husband that is meant for you, from God, from that husband, from God, ordained by God. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is receiving that marital settlement. If you are that person, say, that's me. I take it, Pastor Fortune. I'm tired of going through horrible relationships. I'm tired of going through bozos and hobos and everything in between every frog that's been wasting my time. Is that you? Favored, receive your marriage, your marital settlement right now in Jesus' name. Chosini, re receive it right now. My Julie, receive it right now. Millionaire One, receive it right now. Vivian, receive it right now. Every joker that has wasted your time saying that they were going to make good of, of their promises and they keep on delaying you. You are not an experiment. You are not in a laboratory. You are not to be assessed and analyzed for years and years. You are no longer going to be an experiment. You are no longer going to be an experiment of fornication only to be left and somebody goes and marries somebody else. No more. It stops now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree it and I declare it. Your marital settlement is given. It's a done deal. For it. From now on, you just thank God for it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any strong man that is diverting your blessings. I send that strong man to the grave right now. I send them to their early grave right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declare it right now. Oh, Jesus, thank you. I see the hand of God coming upon you. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you. As I close in the next eight minutes, I need you to hear me very well. I say the hand of the Lord is coming upon you. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you right now. And I want you to receive everything that is coming. It's going to come like a tsunami. It's going to come on you like a tsunami. I need you to hear this. The, the, this is what I'm hearing in the spirit. It says, I hear the abundance of rain. The Lord saying is that there's a rain coming. The rain is coming. The rain is coming. The rain is coming. Tell your neighbor the rain is coming. My God. Elijah said to Ahab, go up. Eat and drink, for there is a sound of the abundance of rain. Go, eat, drink. This is the time I'm declaring your deliverance has come. This is the time you celebrate. It's time to feast. It's time for you to also issue out invitations. It's time for you to celebrate. I hear the abundance of rain. MMT, do you hear it? Who is hearing the abundance of rain? I hear the sweet abundance of rain. The rain is coming, Tanya. Buntle, the rain is coming. Overcomer, the rain is here. Are you hearing it? Ahab did as was, as was prophesied. He went up and drank. The time for crying is finished now. Wipe your tears. Go and eat and drink. Go and celebrate. The Bible says Ahab, Elijah went up to the, to the Mount of Camel and he bowed down on the ground. He put his face between his knees and he said to his servant, go up now, look towards the sea. He went up, the servant went up and came back and said, there's nothing. Seven times there was an up and down. Seven goes out, says there's nothing. You've been going out, in and out. God, I tried and I failed. God, I tried. They mocked me. God, I tried. They rejected me. God, I tried. He divorced me. God, I tried. She walked out on me with the kids. God, I tried. They lied upon me. I don't know whether it was seven times for you. I don't know whether it was 10 times. I speak to those who are retrenched. Oh, Pastor Fortune, I've been retrenched for seven years. 
I tried. I sent out applications every single day. I sent out applications until I did not even know what I was applying for. I just applied for anything. Just, I just want, I just want to be chosen just for a change. My hands, my glory arise and shine. My hands, my glory. As I type that email, that next email, Father, let that next email be the one. Let that next email, as I open up my email box tomorrow, let as I open my email box in this month of June, beyond June, let it be the good news that you have been wait, waiting for. Let it be the good news that will make you sing, my hands, my glory, arise and shine. And on the seventh time, he returned. He says, I see a cloud. It might look small, but it's a cloud nonetheless. I see the cloud. Is there somebody who sees the cloud with me? Do I have any spirit beings here who are seeing the cloud with me? Do I have people who are seeing the cloud? Oh, Jesus. It is as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. I see the hand. I see the hand. The divine exchange is happening. The evil is being removed. There's a divine exchange. I see. It's small, but it's good enough. You see your cloud. That is your cloud, Marikelet. Hallelujah. And, 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 and Elijah said, Go up and say to Ahab, Prepare your chariot. Go down before the rain stops you. Mm. Some of us want to dance in the rain. Now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and the wind. And I know sometimes when you're waiting for your blessing, you have been waiting for the abundance of rain, but now you're confused because there's a storm, there's lightning, there's thunder, there's rain. Is this, is this another storm? Is this the breakthrough? How will my blessing manifest? Am I going to get to my destination? And the Bible says there was heavy rain. I hear the abundance of rain. Do I have any believers who are hearing the abundance of rain? I hear the abundance of rain. Eunista, the abundance of rain is coming your way. Lucy Shell, the abundance of rain is coming your way. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tanya, receive the abundance of rain. Raymond, receive the abundance of rain. Heavy rain, heavy rain, heavy rain. Simone, heavy rain, heavy rain. Receive the abundance of heavy rain. Please make sure you are tapping on the screen. Make sure you are following me on that, on that broadcast. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, thank you. <coughs> so Ahab rode away and he went to Jezreel. The hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he gathered up his loins and ran ahead of Ahab and, and to the entrance of Jezreel. You're going to enter into your palace today. You're going to enter into your palace you're going to dine on the table that the Lord has prepared for you. There is an abundance of rain. MMT, I know you are discerning this. You are seeing this in the spirit. You have to see it. If you believe it, you have to see it before it can manifest. You need to understand that when you see it and you hear the abundance of rain, God is making things easy for you. God is saying, Donna, he's making things for you, easy for you. Things are going to be made easy for you. And when the Lord is the one who's making it easy, it will be easy. In Jesus' mighty name. Julia Sirola received the abundance of rain. Idili received the abundance of rain. Tuli received the abundance of rain in Jesus' mighty name. When the Lord is making things easy for you, you need to understand that you are in the season. When your hand, your glory is arising and shining. The hand of the Lord clears the path for you. And when the hand of the Lord clears the path for you, it gives you speed, astronomical speed, unimaginable speed, unfathomable speed. You are receiving speed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving the speed to enter into your rest. You are receiving the speed to enter into your breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are entering the season when the hand of God is going to catapult you to your desired mountain. 
I see the Lord catapulting you, Matt, to your desired mountain. You are a city set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. Your light and your shining and your promotion cannot be hidden anymore. They can't hold you down anymore. They can't pull you down anymore. The ladder is already up. My God. You don't even have to climb through a ladder. What am I talking about? He says you will not have to bulldoze this mountain. You will not have to go over it, climb over it. He says, I'm catapulting you. Meaning it's from point A to point destination. I don't know how many of you have ever watched that show. It's not American Idols, but I forgot what it is. But it's what's got most talented something. When they press that buzzer, you make it automatically. I'm in the finals. Kosha katakadia. I felt that. Somebody declare to your neighbor, I'm in the finals. What are you talking about? I'm in the finals already. I've made the final. The paper is approved. The tender is approved. My God, my God, my hands, my glory arise and shine. My hands, my glory arise and shine. I already have the exam passed. That module is already yours. That degree is already yours. Your child is already out from that drug activity. Delivered, complete, deliverance, perfected, approved, oh breeze, approved. Who's waiting for that approval? Let me declare it for you. Let me stand in the gap for you. Megan, approved. Unista approved. Jacinta approved. Naisley approved. MMT, you approved. Tanya, you approved. Mom Kathy, you approved. Slava, you approved. Omalicha approved. Geneva approved. Way approved. Mike approved. Yared approved. Oh Jesus. Nongaba, you approved. Cat, you approved. Kabosito approved. Chris approved. Mike approved. Jesus, 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 Jesus. That girl approved. Angelina approved. Esther approved. Victor approved. Detective approved. Kimala approved. Moses approved. Come on. More official. Approve. Approve. Cynthia approved. Yes, you approved. Samuel approved. Marike Lady is approved. Do you see the approval, guys? Are you seeing it? The report card is out. Betha is approved. Jesus. Beth is approved. Sophia is approved. Moose is approved. Section 10 is approved. Megan is approved. Angelina is approved. Lisa is approved. Martin is approved. Oh, my God. Let me check on you, Facebook. Oh, my God. I need to approve some people. Noashe, you are approved. Facebook, you are approved. You are approved. AAO, you are approved. Every single contract, baby. We don't leave money on the table. Everything is approved. Lerato is approved. Nogwanda is approved. Jesus. Martin is approved. Approve. Approve your children. Approve that passport. What are you waiting for? When the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, he ran faster than the chariots of Ahab. He got to the destination faster. Father, get me there faster. That is your prayer. Lord, get me there faster. Somebody say it in that comment section. God, get me there faster. Get me there faster. I'm approved. I'm already approved. I need to get there faster. There's no queuing. I am approved. Get me there faster. Somebody say it to your neighbor. Get me there faster, God. Get me there faster. Accelerate me. Accelerate me. Get me there faster. Acceleration. I speak acceleration. When the hand of God is upon on you, you overtake poverty. Oh, Jesus. We are overtaking poverty right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, island. I speak to you. 
approve that permit in Jesus' mighty name. You are approved. Don't can you so faster acceleration speed joyce you are approved no pillar you are approved lira you are approved siteke you are approved honey muape you are approved angelina you are approved the lord is getting you there faster when others are struggling to make it in life the hand of the lord is upon you you will not struggle the lord says you will not have to struggle not for this one not after the sacrifice you did We've been praying for six hours. I know that may not be much, but you are approved. Your household is approved in totality, Mam Kathy. The hand of God is going to make it easy for you. That is what the Spirit of God is saying. Hilda has been appointed. Amen. Approved and appointed. The set time to favor you is here. The set time to favor you is now. Oh, Jesus. One of the things that the hand of God does for a man is that it helps you not to work in a struggle. The hand of the Lord will open doors for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord was upon Joshua. After the seventh hallelujah, as instructed by God, the mighty wall of Jericho was pulled down by the hand of God. Somebody pull down those walls. I want to see those hallelujahs. I want to see those seven hallelujah. Oh God, when I shout hallelujah, my walls are coming down. I shout hallelujah. I destroy depression. I shout hallelujah. I destroy schizophrenia. I shout hallelujah. I destroy every single form of untimely death. I shout hallelujah. I destroy every form of poverty in its all ramifications. I shout hallelujah. And my school fees of my children are paid in totality in the name of Jesus Christ. I shout hallelujah. And that bond is paid in the name of Jesus Christ. I shout hallelujah. That repossession, that eviction notice is pulled back in the name of Jesus Christ. I shout hallelujah. That child is released from jail in the name of Jesus Christ. I shout hallelujah. I release that child from drug addiction in the name of Jesus Christ. I shout hallelujah. And I release your husband from alcoholism in the name of Jesus Christ. He will not have to resort to that. I shout hallelujah. And your heart is being mended. Every broken heart is mended. I pull down every heartbreak. You will receive the right person in due season. And I hear the abundance of rain releasing that due season for you right now. Accelerate, make it faster, oh God. Lord, thank you for your presence this morning. The presence of God is in you. When the hand of God is upon you, every single proposal approved. Nobody can stop it. Somebody type in the comment section, nobody can stop it. I'm unstoppable. Nobody's stopping it. Nobody can stop it. Nobody can stop it in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of God will fight the battles for me. I will not have to fight in this battle. I'm not going to dirty myself on this one. Mm -mm. I've been fighting all night. I destroyed the evil foundations. Now is my celebration season. You will not have to fight in this battle. Tell your neighbor, you will not have to fight. Come on, talk to me, preach with me. You will not have to fight. Let's pray together. I don't have to fight on this one. The Bible says that there were three nations that were gathered against Jehoshaphat. He knew he could not win if he fights them. And the word of the Lord came to him that he should praise God and not fight. And I hear the word of the Lord is also reassuring you that you don't have to fight. Just praise me. Thank you, Dr. Blumi, for following me. Everybody who's following me, thank you so much. Make sure you follow me. Make sure we connect. Make sure we become prayer partners for life. 
and beyond. Thank you, Jesus. You just have to praise me. That's what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And I will fight for you. And after God was finished fighting, he began to understand that he had already fought all the battles without him fighting. He had already obtained the victory. I want you to receive your victory right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declare it in the comment section. I receive my victory. Come on, talk to me, Unista. Talk to me, Matt Marcia. I receive my victory right now. I'm walking in my victory. Come on, let's pray together. Talk to me. I receive my victory. Nwasha, talk to me. Facebook, talk to me. Everybody on Facebook, everybody on YouTube, talk to me. I receive my victory. In Jesus' name, I receive my victory right now. My hands, my glory, arise and shine. The hand of God is fighting on your behalf. I receive my victory. The hand of God that appeared for the Israelites when the Egyptians were pursuing them and they were faced with the Red Sea and parted the Red Sea. That same hand of God is parting the Red Sea for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. My hands, my glory, arise and shine. I receive my victory. Tell God right now, part my Red Sea. Right now, I'm walking through my Red Sea. Tell your neighbor, in case your neighbor does not understand the weight of glory that you are carrying right now, in case your neighbor does not understand the weight of glory and the weight of the kabod that you are moving forward with from now, I decree and I declare right now, there shall no longer be an Ichabod spirit upon you in the name of Jesus Christ as you walk through the Red Sea. I'm walking through in the name of Jesus Christ. Darling, darling from Trinidad. I pray for you, your hands, your glory shall arise and shine. Thank you, Jesus. Pat my Red Sea, pat my Red Sea, pat my Red Sea. Use your hands to pat it, just pat it like this. Shift. That thing that has been threatening you on your face and all, you're always just shouting and nagging. You just raise your hand like that. You know what it means, right? When I... Amen. Jesus, Jesus. The hand of God can break any chain. The hand of God can break any chain. I decree and I declare that the hand of God is breaking the chains of poverty. They are falling down. I see the hands of poverty, that the chains of poverty, they are breaking right now by the hand of God. Come on, talk to me. Declare it with me. Every poverty chain be broken. Every poverty chain be broken. Every chain of failure be broken. Every chain of failure be broken. Every chain of sickness be broken. Every chain of sickness be broken. Every chain of failure be broken. Every chain of poverty be broken. Every chain of failure be broken. Every failure be broken. Every chain of poverty be broken. Every chain of sickness be broken. Every chain of rising and falling be broken. Every chain of stagnancy be broken. I pull it down. Every chain of disappointment be broken. Every chain of disappointment be broken. Jesus, Jesus. Every hatred that somebody has for me, I'm breaking it right now by the hand of God. You shall favor me. My destiny helpers are stepping up to favor me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declare it for yourself. My destiny helper, come forth. There are some chains that have been lurking around your life that have been hanging around for too long. And those chains that are stubborn, the Lord is saying this morning, as you declare it, my hands, my glory, arise and shine. 
Every chain shall be broken. The hand of the Lord is locating every stubborn chain. I speak to every stubborn chain. Let the hand of the Lord locate that stubborn chain and break it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. He's locating every stubborn chain. I want you to prophesy it with me. Every stubborn chain be broken by the hand of God. Every stubborn chain be broken by the hand of God. Every stubborn chain be broken by the hand of God. Every stubborn chain be broken by the hand of God. Oh, Father, as I close. Oh, Lord of heaven, the God of earth, the devil is a liar. Network, you will not interrupt this flow of God. Never. Uh-uh. Jesus. Let your presence go before us always in Jesus' mighty name. I release the presence of God to go before you as you go into the rest of the day or the rest of the evening, depending on which country you are watching me from. Right now, I release the presence of God. The hand of God will manifest in every area of your life. I decree it and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of God will manifest in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord fight this battle for us whatever battles that may be facing us whatever battles that are threatening us thank you lord that we won't have to fight them because you will fight them for us we give you praise honor and adoration we thank you in advance we praise you in advance mighty jesus every satanic battle in the mighty name of jesus christ every satanic battle against you Every satanic battle against you, Pell Gugu. Every satanic battle against you, Yared. Everybody who's at the sound of my voice, I command that satanic battle. Whoever arranged it, I don't care who it is, but right now I command it to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. The name that is above every other name. That, that satanic battle, whoever has arranged it. You don't even have to raise your voice to these people anymore. You don't have to shout anymore to them. You don't have to justify yourself. You don't have to explain yourself. I want you to be like a submarine from today. I want you to be like a submarine. You're going to maintain your peace. You're going to maintain your cool. And your the, 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 the hands and the glory that have arisen and shine, they're going to speak for you. They're going to look at you. They're going to see you shining, whether they like it or not. They're going to look at you. They're going to see you dining on the presence at the table that the Lord has pre prepared for you. You're going to dine with kings. Your name will be mentioned in the right places. Your name will be mentioned for favor. You will be recommended, Angelina. Bertha, you will be recommended to, to people who matter. MMT, your name will be mentioned in relevant places. And I hear the Lord saying your business shall be mentioned in relevant places to relevant people, relevant decision makers in the name of Jesus Christ. Cheryl, Ghost, Herbert Masugu, God bless you. Your name will be mentioned in relevant places. Herbert, in this next month, in the next 60 days, the Holy Spirit is releasing me to challenge you that the sales target that you made in the past month, you will triple them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. My hands, my glory shall arise and shine. Oh Lord, my father, pursue my stubborn pursuers. You will not have to fight. All you have to do is just declare it. When you declare it and you're decre decreeing and declaring, you are recreating your world. Father, pursue my pursuers. Come on, let's pray together. Send him. He's saying, I'm ready to contend with your contenders. Pursue my pursuers. Enough is enough. 
Fight the thing that is fighting for me. Power must change hands once and for all. When you come up like a submarine, quiet, composed, they will say, when did she recover? We thought she was retrenched. When did she recover? What, when did she have time to start that business? What do you mean? We thought she was defeated. Pursue my pursuers, oh God. You go chill, Donna. Let God pursue your pursuers. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Every stubborn yoke is broken right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every stubborn yoke of poverty, I break it in the name of Jesus. Shout that resounding amen. Make, you, make sure your amen is thundering very well. Every stubborn yoke of stagnancy right now, I break you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disappointment, I break you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of sickness, I break you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mention that thing that has been yoking you and pressing you. Right now, I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Donna. God bless you. Every yoke of debt, financial debt that has been enslaving you, I break it in the name of Jesus. I break that yoke. I break the yoke of death on your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not have to bury. You will not be buried. Mm -mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any witchcraft power that has marked you. That any witchcraft power that has said your family shall be obliterated. Any witchcraft power that has marked your family for death. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Let the thunder of God strike that witchcraft power. Let the thunder of God strike that witchcraft power. Let the thunder of God strike them down in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My God, my God. My hand, my glory shall arise and shine. Father, Donna. Remember Donna, mm. my hands, ghost, the Lord is remembering you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your hands and your glory arise and shine. Oh, Jesus. I speak to that witchcraft power that has marked your business. I speak to that witchcraft power that has marked your ministry. I speak to that witchcraft power that has marked your anointing. I speak to that witchcraft power that has marked your finances. I speak to that witchcraft power that has marked your career for death. I speak to that right now. The thunder of God. Release the thunder of God against it. Strike them down in the name of Jesus. Thunder of God. Strike them down. The thunder of God is striking them down. The thunder of God is striking it down. Yes, Lord. Every power, every evil manipulation, the thunder of God is striking it down in the name of Jesus Christ. The thunder of God is striking it down in the name of Jesus Christ. When others are finding it difficult out there, you will not find it difficult. The hand of God will advertise you. Somebody say it along with me. Declare it with me. The hand of the Lord is going to advertise me in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord will advertise your business. The hand of the Lord will advertise your career. Your boss will know about you. You will not even have to manipulate. You don't have to sleep your way up. You don't have to manipulate your way up. You don't have to bribe your anybody on your way up. Jesus, you will be among those who are Jew, who are getting their rewards. When the names of those who are dying in this season, your name will not be there. But your name is on the register of the relevant, of the renowned. 
of the living epistles. Your name is being called on the roll call of those who are going to be renowned. Those who are going to be honored. Those who are going to be dignified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty hand of God is going to make sure that your life, your work, your family, he's going to make sure he's making every crooked path straight for you. He's going to make sure that every path that is crooked is going to be set straight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. He's going to make sure that he's fighting every single battle for you that you cannot fight, that you don't have the strength for, that you are saying, I've been sitting on this ICU chair. I'm waiting for a breakthrough. I'm waiting for the discharge papers from this hospital. My child, my husband, my wife has been in this hospital for too long. Father, I've been around this mountain way too long. I'm just waiting to get off from this mountain. I've been processed. God, I can't do this without you. I, 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 all I can say, God, you know that these bones can live. Let the flesh come onto these bones. Father, it's time for my elevation. It's time for my promotion now. In Jesus' mighty name. The hand of the Lord will advertise you indeed in Jesus' mighty name. The hand of the Lord will go before you and bring your finances back to life. The hand of the Lord will go forth and kill every witch, every wizard in your family and outside of your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will penetrate in every, every single area of your life in your business and it will make it work. What was not working will work in Jesus mighty name. I declare and I decree you will flourish from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your visitation on us this morning. Father, I thank you, Lord, that we are rising and we are shining. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Pastor uh, Cole, I don't see the rest of the name. Pastor Kongelani, God bless you. Let's declare it as we close. My hands, my glory, arise and shine. My hands, my glory, arise and shine. Talk to me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quickly follow the platform that you are seeing me on and you click on the subscription button and you go to the profile. You will see the link to my YouTube. You can go watch the replay and soak yourself. My hands, my glory shall arise and they will shine. Come on, talk to me, Megan. My hands, my glory shall arise and shine. I want to thank everybody on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much. God bless you. Those of you who will be visiting the YouTube, please remember to subscribe and like the videos. Hallelujah. Make sure that as you subscribe, you share in Jesus' mighty name. Make sure that you visit my TikTok page as well. On my TikTok page, there are videos that are pinned. There is a WhatsApp group um, QR code that you can scan and you will be making sure that when you're on that WhatsApp group, you get every notification whenever we go live. Hallelujah. I'm live every single day, 5 a.m. Same time, South African standard time, 5 a.m. to 6, 6 a.m. or just a little bit over like now we've done one hour, 30 minutes now, every, every single day of the week. 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. You can position it for your for your for your side. I'll also put in a an event so that you can align it with your standard time. And we are live at 10 p.m. with Apostle Mara, who I'm sharing the platform on his platform. Hallelujah! And thank God for letting him uh, for him letting me share his platform as well. God bless you and increase your Apostle. Your hands, your glory shall arise and shine indeed. May your hands be lifted up, Apostle Mara. May you not get tired of the work that you're doing. In Jesus' mighty name. Those of you on Mara Official and you're looking for me, my name is Fortune, Pastor Fortune on TikTok. My name is Pastor Fortune on all social media handlers. I'm Fortune L online on Facebook, IG. Just inbox me. You need prayers, anything, counseling. Let me be your prayer partner. All I ask from you right now, is that you give me a follow. Give me a follow. 
turn on that notification bell. Let me know that you are my prayer partner. Hallelujah. If you follow me on IG, I'll follow you instantly back. I'm going to follow everybody who's going to follow me on IG right now in Jesus' name. Immediately after this broadcast so that I don't forget. And I will follow as many as I can back as possible before I even reach my 10K mark on TikTok. Mm -hmm. But I thank you for everybody who's following me. Thank you for giving me the audience. There's no preacher without a congregation. There's no preacher without an audience. Hallelujah. It's it's God that has positioned me. There is it. It's pinned Fortune L online. That is an L for love, right? It's Fortune L online. I see um, one of my moderators has pinned it there. It's uh, just try and type it again with a capital L in the center. Those of you unfortunately online, it's very easy. You just go to, thank you, God bless you, GMAC. God bless you and increase you. You just go to my profile and you see the YouTube link. Hallelujah. Help me grow that YouTube account so that I can reach more people on YouTube as well. I want to populate heaven as much as possible. I want the kingdom of God to expand as much as possible. God bless you. I'm going to stop the stream now on Facebook and YouTube. God bless you. I love you. Remember, you are awesome. Remember to be a living epistle. Remember to walk tall. Remember, you are awesome. Remember, you're awesome. Remember, greatness is your DNA. Remember to motivate everybody that you come into contact with. Remember to be an inspiration to everybody that you con come into contact with. Remember to live a transformed life all the time in Jesus' mighty name. And let God use you to for signs. You are for signs and wonders. And signs and wonders shall follow you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you.